our Advent retreat this year is about creativity. How the same divine power that brought us the Christ child in the manger also infuses our lives, gives us the power to be creative. And it also gives us the power to bring healing, to create something new out of something that's difficult for us. Um, and the holidays, I think, are a good time to think about that because all it takes is getting out, you know, one tin, one storage container with ornaments and Christmas decorations and uh, a lot of memories come back to us, a, a lot of emotions. And uh, so I think why not use the raw materials of our Christmas season to allow God to work on healing in us. Now for many of us, uh, we have to do some, we have to process some grief during the holidays. Uh, holiday time is when we realize more than ever who is no longer around the family table. Uh, it can be a very bittersweet time. Uh, these bells are a part of a collection of bells that my grandmother had for years and years. They were always in a certain place in her house, and at Christmas we brought them out. Uh, grandmother's been gone for a number of years now, uh, all my grandparents actually, and also my father. And so there's always a bit of grieving that I have to do during the Christmas season. And I've accepted that this is part of what Christmas is. Uh, it's remembering loved ones who are no longer with us, celebrating their lives. I now have this collection of bells and I bring them out every Christmas. So it's one way that I use sort of these raw materials in my life to create something good and to continue my own healing process. Now when I was in my 20s, I taught school in a, uh, in a village in the Middle East, in the country of Jordan. And um, it was probably the two most fruitful years of my life. It was really a very stimulating time. It was a culture I'd never been to before. Um, I enjoyed a lot of it. I really loved it there. However, there were also challenges. And um, one, the first Christmas I was there, I discovered a little shop uh, that did, they had all this needlework and they had some Christmas images. So I bought several things like this and some tea towels and, and uh, put them around my little apartment far away from home and it helps me celebrate that Christmas. But I continue to get these out every year because it reminds me of how uh, I, you know, that was a period when I learned who I was. I learned what my strengths were. I learned what I could overcome in a culture that was very different from my own. Uh, so this is one of those things that I put out every Christmas to remind me of that ongoing ability that we have as people to simply become who we are, to develop our gifts, to learn how to love others in all kinds of situations, some of them more challenging than others. So anyway, I encourage you as you're decorating and looking at all the stuff in your life, all the Christmas paraphernalia, uh, the decorations, the, old, the, the gifts you've kept over the years, uh, the ornaments, uh, the, the recipes. Allow those raw materials to help you create and continue to create something for yourself and for your family, for the people you love. And, and understand that this is part of your healing and part of the recreation we have in Christ year after year. Merry Christmas.